com base hi welcome back to this channel today we are going to talk about treatment storage and disposal facilities so what is treatment storage and disposal facilities hazardous waste tsdf is the transport storage treatment disposal collection reception of hazardous waste in an environmentally friendly manner in tsdfs t stands for treatment facilities these facilities use various processes like oxidation incineration to alter the composition of hazardous waste a part of the treatment operation enables the hazardous waste to be reused and reclaimed while the other treatment intensely lowers the amount of harmful waste s stands for storage facilities these facilities temporarily hold hazardous waste until they are disposed of or treated d stands for disposal facilities these facilities permanently contain hazardous waste the most standard type of disposable facilities is landfill or a junk pile where hazardous waste are disposed of in a carefully constructed units designed to safeguard surface water resources and underground water so let us know what are the criteria required in a tsdf facilities criteria for transportation of hazardous waste at the time of transportation the container shouldn't break or be defective emergency phone number should be displayed on the container the container in which hazardous waste is stored shall withstand the integrity for at least 6 months the details on the label should include code number of the waste hazardous property the symbol of the waste hazardous property and the origin of place of waste the information of contents of waste shall be marked on the container as well vessels that have hazardous waste shall be stored and marked with the word hazardous waste in a common language like english or hindi the material of packaging shouldn't react with the contents of the waste moving on criteria for treatment of hazardous waste enough machinery shall be installed in the plant to treat hazardous waste chemical biological and physical process shall be adopted to treat hazardous waste lastly the criteria for storage of hazardous waste there shall be at least 15 meter distance between the storage sheds in case of any leakage or spills cotton shall be used for cleaning instead of water there shall be a separate column for flammable reactive ignitable and non compatible waste in a storage facility the container shall be lined or made with suitable material which shall not react with the hazardous waste So what are the licenses required to establish a TSD facility? Number 1 you require hazardous waste authorization. Next general standards for discharge of environment pollutants and environment clearance from the state or central government norms for DG set effluent discharge norms noise pollution ground and surface water norms and ambient air quality norms and lastly you would require gaseous emission norms for hazardous waste incinerators. So that's it for this video guys for more updates please subscribe to the channel thank you